This is where the mother and daughter lived, and this is where investigators found Nellie Hudgens' body months after they say she died. Nellie Hudgens was laid to rest in Enfield's Elmwood Cemetery two weeks ago. Police say she died, though, several months before. And her 69-year-old daughter, Donna, who lived with her, didn't tell anyone and kept the body inside their house. First, we just thought she had passed. And then, of course, when we found out what really happened, so... Kenny Velasquez is separated from Nellie Hudgens' granddaughter. He says the family tried to see Nellie, but Donna always made excuses. She would meet us at the door. She's asleep or something like that. And apparently every time somebody will call, the same thing. Enfield police say Donna finally went to a funeral home saying her mother had died, but she didn't know where EMS took the body. Authorities got involved and discovered it badly decomposed in the family's home. Neighbors tell me in hindsight there were warning signs. And my daughter said, well, I smelled an old outside. I probably say it was about four or five weeks prior. Um, you smell something like roadkill almost. Donna is charged with felony concealment of death and was given a $5,000 bond. The jail tells us she's no longer in custody, but when I knocked on her door, no one answered. Police say Donna explained to investigators why she kept her mother's body because she wanted to see the stages of death. Kenny Velasquez, Nellie's relative by marriage, says Donna is in need of mental health treatment and he hopes she'll be able to get it. Sarah Kruger, WRAL News, Enfield.